Hello everyone. After Van Top isocore, it's time to discuss Van Top isobar in the chemical equilibrium a thermodynamic approach chapter. In this regard, we have to start from this relationship Kp equals to Kc into Rt to the power delta nu. Actually, Van Top isobar, isobar and Van Top isocore both are the temperature dependence of equilibrium constants. Now, Van Top isocore is the temperature dependence of equilibrium constant in terms of pressure whereas this pent up isobar is going to be temperature dependence of equilibrium constant in terms of concentration so in order to do this we have to start from this relationship the relation between kp and kc and we know the physical significance of all these terms kp is the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure K kc is equilibrium constant in terms of concentration or universal gas constant as usual t is the temperature and delta nu is the stoichiometric difference okay so if natural log is taken both sides then it will become ln kp it will become delta nu ln r plus delta nu ln t plus ln kc okay and if both sides are differentiated with respect to temperature then the left hand side becomes ddt of ln kp that means uh, in the right hand side we shall get here delta nu by t okay here this part is constant so it is zero but here the natural log of t and its differentiation is definitely one by t so it is delta nu by t and here it is as usual dl and kc by dt okay if this equation is rearranged then we can write dl and kc by dt equals to delta minus delta nu by t plus dl and kp by dt okay and uh, we know that from the van top iso core that dl and kp by dt equals to delta h by rt squared so we put this value here dl in dh by drt squared delta h by rt squared in place of dl and kp by dt so we get minus delta nu by t plus delta h by rt squared and here we have to mention from where we are getting this value now the just summation summing summing up the right hand side so left hand side dl and kc by dt as usual in the right hand side we are getting minus delta nu rt plus delta h in the numerator and in the denominator we are getting rt square and this value is nothing but minus p delta b plus delta h okay this value from the equation of thermochemistry and this value in turn is equal to delta u the change in internal energy so this all these values are obtained from the application of first law of thermodynamics that is thermochemistry so from there we are fetching this uh, relationships and putting here okay this way we are getting temperature dependence of equilibrium constant in terms of concentration and the relationship is known as the van top isobar and it is dl and kc by dt equals to delta u by rt squared so the its its uh, linguistic description is what now it is rate of change in equilibrium constant in terms of concentration it's natural log okay so i repeat here the rate of change of the natural log of equilibrium constant in terms of concentration with respect to temperature this is equal to the value delta u by rt square where delta u is the internal energy change and r is universal gas constant t temperature as usual okay now graphical plot plot of log kc against 1 by t so here the same way we have to do the integration okay the dt part taking to the right hand side and separating the uh, constant terms and the variable parts delta u by r into dt by t square and here in the left hand side d ln kc integrating without limit here you get ln kc and here you get minus delta u by rt plus z and if natural log is converted into log base 10 then it becomes log kc equals to minus delta u by 2.303 r into 1 by t plus z prime z prime means z by 2.303 which is yet another constant so if log case is plotted in the y axis and 1 by t is plotted in the x axis then depending upon the positive or negative value of delta u it will give either a positive straight sloped straight line or a negative slope straight line if delta u is negative then the slope of the straight line would be positive and if delta u is positive u is positive then the slope of the straight line would be negative okay so let's see here it is okay and also by using these equations you can find out the value of delta h okay so all the values are interrelated here delta u okay if delta h is given 
okay from the from the equation you can find out easily the value of stoichiometric difference or vice versa if delta u is given you can also find the value of delta h by using this relationship so these are the therm equations from thermochemistry which may have to be used when uh, solving out the numerical problems okay so that's all for phantom isobar thank you have a nice day